Hello everyone and welcome to Blaugrana Everything and welcome back to the channel and a match review as we look at how FC Barcelona got past Real Sociedad in what was a tightly contested and at times frenetic semi-final tie that was ultimately settled via a penalty shootout which ended 3-2 in favor of La Blaugrana. That now makes it 4 wins from 4 games played in 2021 for Barcelona continuing their strong start to the new year. In this video, I'll quickly look at how the teams lined up, then we'll talk about Barcelona's performance on the night and we'll discuss negatives and positives from the game as well as pick the man of the match. Now a quick reminder to hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video so you can stay up to date with all the coverage of all things Barcelona on this channel. Let's go ahead and look at how the two teams set up. Now, nonsensical late night kickoffs were back, did I forget to mention, and I wouldn't have blamed any of the players from either side for not being up for this one on what was a chilly night, no, a cold night. But Sociedad set up with a 4-3-3 formation with the following players. In goals they had Ramiro and then a backline of Monreal, Lenormand, Zubeldia and Gorosabel as we had predicted that they would make probably a few changes from the team that lost to Sevilla. In midfield they had Guridi, Guevara and Marino with Portu, Oyetabao and Isaac up front. Barcelona on the other hand set up in a 4-3-3 with Ter Stegen in goals and then a backline of Longley, Araujo, Minguesa and Alba. Minguesa starting ahead of Serginio Dest who I am presuming probably has some like discomfort or injury of sorts because he did not feature even for like one second in this game. In midfield they had Busquets, De Jong and Pedri whilst Dembele, Brathwaite and Griezmann made their front three. Keeping in mind here that uh, Lionel Messi had to make way for Martin Brathwaite due to some discomfort that Messi was complaining about. Let's now briefly look at how Barcelona performed in this game. The match started off with Sociedad placing Barcelona very aggressively and getting on the front foot as a result. Barca as we know are prone to making errors when pressed and that is exactly what we saw from Busquets who got caught in possession and Sociedad's Isaac was played through but forced a magnificent save from Marc-Andre Ter Stegen to keep the scores level. Barca's midfield were looking overwhelmed as none of Pedri, Busquets or De Jong were able to stamp their authority on the game in the opening phases. However, as the half progressed, we began to see the trio grow into the game more and more and around about 5 minutes from the break, Griezmann, Brathwaite and De Jong combined to give Barca the lead, the Frenchman crossing to the Dutchman who headed home and Barca took the 1-0 lead into the break. The second half began just like the first half had, with Sociedad hustling and rushing Barca into mistakes and that's exactly what they were able to do as De Jong gave away a penalty around about 5 or so minutes into the second half. Oyethabao dispatched to draw Sociedad level and Barca though immediately had an opportunity to retake the lead. De Jong was played through by Busquets and after looking like he had done the difficult part in turning his defender inside out, he took a bit too much time on the ball to get his shot off and that allowed Gonsabel to make a last ditch interception. Dembele then also flashed an effort just wide of Ramiro's left hand post minutes after he and Pedri had initially combined for the Canary Islands man to score. Unfortunately, the ball into Pedri was just beyond him and the Sociedad defense were able to recover. The second half then petered out with near misses and close calls from both sides and 1-1 was the final score at the end of no more time. Extra time was then a frantic affair as both sides created chances of plenty to score but it must be mentioned that the goalkeepers from both sides reached another level in extra time. Both Ter Stegen and Ramiro pulled off wonderful stops to keep the scoreline level, the pick of the bunch being Ter Stegen's fingertip save from a goal-bound Adnan Yanuzai free kick. And it was just really a save that seemed to fill him up with confidence and that ended up boding well for Barcelona. 
The game then proceeded to the dreaded penalty shootout at which point it was really just going to become a game of chance and as fate would have it, chance smiled on Barcelona as Dembele and Pjanic converted following two consecutive saves by Ter Stegen. The winning penalty was then dispatched as confidently as you would like by none other than Kule's favorite son, Ricky Puig. In what was quite simply the best moment of the season thus far for Ricky. The two penalty misses for Barcelona came from Frankie de Jong and a really terrible, terrible effort by Antoine Griezmann. Well, Barcelona are now through to the Supercopa tournament final for the first time ever. And yes, I am talking about the tournament in its new format and not in its old format. Alright. Let's now get into my negatives and positives section. My negatives for today are first and foremost our good friend Wasteful Finishing. Barca created enough clear cut chances that they should have been able to put the game away. Granted, this time around the weather could probably be used as a valid explanation, but regardless, there's little excuse for not being able to score a second goal before the end of normal time. My next negative would have to be our press. Prior to the introduction of Puch and Kanic, Barcelona were unable to press Sociedad effectively through the middle of the park because they simply didn't have the legs to do it. Time and again Sociedad were able to play their way through the Barcelona press with relative ease and that should be something of concern because Barcelona are probably going to be playing Real Madrid in the Supercopa final and they'll need to improve on that or else Los Blancos will make an easy meal of La Blaugrana. As for my positives, there are a couple of things in particular that I would like to point out. First up is the continuation of the rich vein of form that Frankie de Jong, Antoine Griezmann and Pedri have been in of late. Tonight they started a bit slowly, but as the game wore on, they grew into it more and more and looked better and better. My second positive is the defense. Individually and collectively, our defenders did a good job, and none more so than the man who will act as my segue into the next section, which is the man of the match, and that could only have been really Mark Andre Ter Stegen. He looked sharp and focused from the off and even topped it off with two top class saves in extra time before putting the icing on top with a stellar shootout performance. What more could be said really, everything we could have asked for him tonight, bailed us out on multiple occasions and of course he just went and dominated the opposition as well in the shootout. I especially loved that save from Oya Thabao, like yeah I knew what you were trying to do and I stopped you. Well, that does it for my match review, ladies and gentlemen. What were your thoughts on the match? Who was your man of the match? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and for Sabasa.